The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the Acts of the Apostles in chapter 16. Sailing from Troas, we made a straight run for Samothrace, the next day for Neapolis, and from there for Philippi, a Roman colony and the principal city of that district of Macedonia. After a few days in this city, we went outside the gates beside a river, as it was a Sabbath, and this was a customary place for prayer. We sat down and preached to the women who had come to the meeting. One of these women was called Lydia, a woman from the town of Thyatira, who was in the purple dye trade and who had revered God. She listened to us and the Lord opened her heart to accept what Paul was saying. After she and her household had been baptized, she kept urging us, if you judge me a true believer in the Lord, she said, come and stay with us. And she would take no refusal. And our response is taken from Psalm 149. Alleluia, sing a new song to Yahweh his praise in the assembly of the faithful. Israel shall rejoice in its maker. The children of Zion delight in their king. They shall dance in praise of his name, play to him on tambourines and harps. For Yahweh loves his people. He will crown the humble with salvation. The faithful exalt in glory, shout for joy as they worship him, praising God to the heights with their voices a two-edged sword in their hands to execute on them the judgment passed to the honor of all of his faithful. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. John. Jesus said, when the paraclete comes, whom I shall send to you from the Father, the Spirit of Truth, who issues from the Father. He will be my witness, and you too will be witnesses, because you have been with me from the beginning. I have told you all this so that you may not fall away. They will expel you from the synagogues, and indeed, the time is coming when anyone who kills you will think he is doing a holy service to God. They will do these things because they have never known either the Father or me. But I have told you all this. So, that when the time for it comes, you may remember that I told you. I did not tell you this from the beginning because I was with you. The Gospel of the Lord.